Spiller's not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. Ingram, solo back set. First down at the 20. And Ingram is going to secure the handoff. That'll be second and four after the running play. Two tight ends on the field here. with the handoff. And that's April making the stop. Well, I know it was a short run that time by the, by the offense, but it's what it's going to do for you long term. Keep running that football. Try to wear the defense down. The Saints are at the line, facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. Third down and one. Takes it out of the eye. A nice stop by the defense here in the early going, and now they'll have to kick the football away. Yeah, good job by the defense. Now, you know, they did their job. Now it's time for this offense to pick it up, take some chances, and start moving this defense around and be more creative. This punt will be returned. Gets about nine on the play. The Seahawks offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last drive actually ended in a touchdown, Phil. We'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance. Well, what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them. The experience of the football team, the talent of the players, and the coaches helped them out. They got it done. And now here's the Saints defense. A week ago, this is a bunch that forced five turnovers. Second down and nine. Lynch is handed the football. Third down, following the run. Wilson's lined up, empty backfield. Out of the gun. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Second down and 10. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and 10. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving it. Intercepted! That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Saints' offense failed to muster a single first down 
the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them uh, when they went to the sidelines. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. The defensive line saw something the offense is doing. Look at them all shifting to the right. Playing press coverage to the outside. The Saints take it from the 43. That picks up seven. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second and three after that last carry. Good job by the defensive line shifting all down inside. I think they're expecting a run up the middle. He's hit as he throws it. Here's a look at the Saints offense. Boy, are they difficult to get to the sideline as this team knows how better than anyone in the league knows how to convert on third down. So after that last incompletion, it is third and three. Bree's going to be in the pistol here. and that's a three and out. If this last sequence is any indication, this defense is going to give that quarterback fits as this game goes along. It was a good series for the defense, no question about it. They learned a lot there. Let's see if they can do it, and do it more as the game goes along. Returning punts is a tough job. It's about judgment. That time, that was poor judgment by the return man. Should have just had a fair catch and never tried to return that. The Seahawks at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. First down at the 23. And gains about one. Lynch is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Wilson set. Everybody emptied out for this snap. Graham's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Going to take it the distance. The 20, the 10, touchdown. That touchdown has them sitting pretty as the first quarter winds to a close. Wow, you know, something sitting pretty, something I've never done. But, you know, I do the best I can. That's all I can do, Jim. But, hey, the offense, the team, they're so sharp. What a job by them so far. They got a nice lead here. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Spiller's going to run this one out. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Saints offense coming back onto the field here, desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You're putting this back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. First down at the 20. Leaps in the air and has it. Brought down right at the 50. 
Can you believe how vertical he got there? I can believe it, Jim Nance. I can because we see it so often. The receivers in the NFL are just unbelievable. We take these catches for granted, but that was a tremendous play. Coming to the line at the 50. Drew Brees has it under center. The run it with Mark Ingram. Picks up about five. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. It's now second down and five after running it on first down. They better hurry to get the snap. Got hit on release. And now here's the Seahawks defense. Virtually no one has run on this defensive unit this season with any success. Third and five coming up. Press coverage all the way. The Saints come to the line. First down marker at the 40. The Saints will take the snap from the 45. Down. It's a good job that time by the defense on third down. Find a way to get off the field. The defender found the way. Knocked that pass down. Thomas Morstead will punt this one away. back and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Seahawks offense came out punching. Will this defense ever counter punch Phil? Uh, I think it's about time the defense tries something differently Jim. They look this offense is good. They're playing well but they're not great and they're not unstoppable. So change what you do on the defensive side and turn this time. Second and four coming up. Good job by the defense. All shifting inside. They're expecting a run up the middle. Lynch is tackled down at the 36. Coaches love it when there's a pass thrown and whoever catches that ball, if they can break a tackle, that's just some extra yards. And that's what you're looking for. And that's what it takes to be a winning football team. Russell Wilson has it under center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Second down coming up. Wilson from the shotgun. Doug Baldwin makes the catch. Gains 17. That's his first reception today. The Seahawks are up right now, Phil, and that's at least partly due to the play of the quarterback. Wilson's on fire. It's an awesome feeling as a quarterback to be in rhythm to get people open and have time to throw the football down the field. That's why they're winning, Jim. You said it right. The quarterback is hot. And that's a gain of 10. 
He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Lynch. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Looking long. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. That's his fifth receiving touchdown this year. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. turn here so Breeze will start this drive from the 20. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Ingram solo back set. First down at the 20. Mark Ingram carries the football. And now they'll try over again on second down. Trying to beat the play clock. And it's incomplete. Just can't hold on that time. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. down play clocks running down breeze and shotgun formation surveys Mark Ingram with the reception and that's a gain of 13 the Saints put themselves in a terrible situation third long but you know what they got a lot of talent on the offensive side and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down up in the backfield the Saints from the 32 and Ingram's got it on the handoff he's averaging about four yards a carry nice run that time when you run the football like this over a period of time it's going to wear that defense out there's no doubt about it nice job by the offensive line We have second down. Playing press coverage to the outside. C.J. Spiller taken down at the 39.
almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. You see the linebackers moving? What they're trying to do is confuse the quarterback. Looking across the middle. Ball is out. The defense has the football. Jim, a lot of times a coach, they'll put up with one fumble, but after that, your rear end might be on that bench. So learn from it and don't do it again. The Seahawks back on the field with their offense now. They've scored on each of their last two drives and have to be feeling pretty confident right now at the start of this one. Yeah, it is amazing what the mind can do sometimes on the football field. You go out there and you score and you just you feel like nothing can stop you. So it would not be surprised to see them to go out there and have success again. Lynch lined up as the single back. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Game 13. That's another reception, giving him two. All set up now at the 21. Receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback's eyes. Lynch looking out wide. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second and three. Lynch is going to take the handoff now. Third down now. The Seahawks need to get to the 11 to pick up a first down. Knocked down as he fires it. Chip shot here. doubt about it put three on the board you got to take advantage of good field position the offense doesn't do it that time I know they get three points out of it nice kick but still a letdown for the offense Williams is running this one out Ball's loose they pick up the loose ball and here they go what a job by the kicking team they hustle down the field they make the big hit and they recover the fumble. The Seahawks put some points on the board on their previous possession. Although it was just a field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown and it doesn't work and you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. Lynch is in the backfield. They'll go ground. Ingram's there that time for the tackle. Lynch is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Two minutes to go in the first half, and second down is coming up. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Coming up to the line at the 13-yard line. The Seahawks are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. The give. The Carroll takes him down. Lynch is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Now looking at third down. Press coverage all the way. Wilson's got it in the gun. That was Lewis on the coverage that time. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. And he 
puts it through for three. Now the defense is going to be excited. They come out there. The offense has great field position, but they stop them. But they give up three points, but still a victory for the defense. Williams got it on the fair catch as the offense heads out now. The Saints offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. First down at the 20. The run up with Mark Ingram. And Irvin in on the tackle. Ingram's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. It'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. The Saints have it at the 24. Mark Ingram with the reception. And Urban's able to read that play and make the hit. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. The first half comes to an end, and this one seems to be already decided. We're watching complete domination play out. Larry is coming up next with the highlights. Morstead will be kicking off momentarily as the second half is about to commence. The second half kickoff is a comeback in the cards tonight. Gets away. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Seahawks take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, partner. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn the football over. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. Rams there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Vaccaro on the tackle. What we're seeing so many times now in this league is the tight ends are getting so good that they have to condense the pass coverage to make sure they stop them, and it's opening up the wide receivers to have a better chance to catch the football. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. And Ingram there to make the tackle. Lynch is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Stepping up to the line at the 14. Second and nine. Lynch is taking the handoff. Well, I'll tell you, it's getting ugly out here. This team looks possessed coming out of the half and extending the large lead. Yeah, they are playing with some serious fire in the belly. No question about that. I love the just the attitude. They're being so aggressive on the offensive side with their play by the offensive line and the play calling by the coach. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Spiller's going to make the fair catch this time. 
the Saints talked things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by a surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Ingram, solo back set. First down at the 20. Handoff. And Ingram's tackled right at the 20. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. It's now second down. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Just a quick drop back. And it's knocked down. Well, I think it's important for the defense. Anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. On the way, third down. Breeze going to take it from the gun. The Saints get a first down. That's a third down conversion, a rare sight so far today. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Breeze completion percentage, 50% on the day. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. Pulls it in. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Saints have been awesome today on first down. That time, it's a nice play design. They throw the football, and picks up solid yards, second and short. Boy, that's what every offense likes to be in. In plus territory at the 49. Breeze lines up in the pistol. Second down and two. Mark Ingram carries the football. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Coming to the line at the 43. You see linebackers like this shifting. They're trying to confuse the quarterback. Set up now at the 36. The Seahawks defense now is going to go nickel. Second down, three for the first. Wright's the one who made the big stop. The Seahawks defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. Third down on the way. Five. 
Brees from the shotgun. Makes the grab and the feet are down. Phil, this team has been menaced all game long on third down. They cannot figure out a way to pick up a first. Well, listen, I can't figure out what menaced means. I, I, I got to start bringing a dictionary with me to the games I'm doing with you. You throw out all these big words, but if you mean they've been bad, then I agree. The offense is back on the field here with fourth and three to go. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The Saints snap it at the 36. Mark Ingram with the reception. And down as much as they were getting deeper into the second half. I guess they figured it was worth the risk to go for it at this time, Phil. Yeah, I guess so. They just figured, what the heck, we're playing terrible on both sides of the ball. Let's try something new on the offensive side. They tried it. It didn't work. It's just been a rough day. First down at the 34. Lynch. Running room. Good yardage picked up on that call. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. First and ten. Lynch is going to secure the handoff. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. That leads us to second down. Fullback takes the handoff. And that gains one. This is third down. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. When he puts on third down, you hope to get to the quarterback. Here's why. Because there are less defensive backs back there. The chances of giving up the big play are pretty high. But the rush, they're quick enough. They get there and they sack the QB. This will end up in the end zone for a touchback. The Saints found themselves in good position the last time they had the ball, but chose to go for it on fourth down instead of bringing out the field goal unit. That proved to be costly. Yeah, they got to remember who they're going against on the defensive side. This defensive coordinator is smart. He knows all these situations, and he guessed right with the offensive coordinator. Boy, for as well as they drove the ball down the field the last time they had it, only to come up empty on that fourth down stop. How is this offense going to react on this drive? I don't know. I can tell you from experience, it's demoralizing when you drive the football and you get in scoring territory where it's three or seven and you come away with nothing. It, it's just, it's tough. So you've got to pick yourself up and make it happen. Second down following the run. The Saints lined up in the pistol. Heading into the fourth, and this offense just wants to forget about this effort. Yeah, Jim, that's the best thing you can do. Forget about what you did on that field today. Go back to practice next week. Start over and see if you can just play better in the next game. Hauschka set to attempt the field goal. The kick is good. Another nice kick by the kicker. Man, oh man, is he hot. He has got such confidence, got a powerful leg, and it is all in rhythm today. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Spiller's going to test the coverage this time. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Saints just gave up some big turnover points. 
And let's see if they can hold on the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you you make mistakes on the field. They're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart. You've got to be efficient and get the job done. Picks up eight here. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Second down and two to go after the running play. Playing press coverage to the outside. One more snap and another quarter is in the books. We're heading to the fourth quarter in what has been a completely one-sided affair. I'd ask if a comeback is possible, but when it's this margin, Phil, I'm a realist. You are. You are a realist, Jim. And, you know, when you're behind, like you are a lot of times when we play golf by the 14th or 15th hole, you know it's over. But we finish it out. And you know what? Same here in this football game. They got to go ahead and finish this game out. Breeze connects with Colston. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. First down here. This play set up by the long gainer. The run it with Mark Ingram. Hills there to take him down. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Coming to the line at the 38. Second and three. And Ingram's handed the football. The football is at the 38. The Saints take it from the 38. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Something we've seen time and time again, Phil, this offense just looking like they're out to sea. And it'll result in yet another empty possession. Well, if out to sea means they're not playing well, and they look like they're not interested, and they're not working hard, and they're not hustling, then I say yes. This team and this offense especially is out to sea. Offense still on the field here on fourth down, needing three for the first. Ingram, solo back set. The Saints take it from the 38. He has the grab. Taken down at the 27. Well, you're really in a tough spot. That is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Coming to the line at the 27. They bring in the extra tight end. First and 10. Mark Ingram carries the football. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Breeze set in the pistol. Press coverage all the way. Second and 11. Looking long to 
It's intercepted. And no return as this goes for a touchback. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Toss to the outside. And that's a gain of nine. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Nice run that time. You run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. It's a two tight end formation. The Seahawks have it at the 29. Connects with Graham. That's five receptions on the day. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Lynch looking for a lane. Second and ten. Running room. Wilson's taken down at the 40. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. The Seahawks line up. Split backfield. Back to the ground. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. No return. They doubt it. The Saints offense can reignite things now after last time moving the football only to throw a drive-ending interception. And this is what this defense lives on. They thrive on it. They let you move the football a little bit, but they wait for that mistake. Is that mistake going to be an offensive penalty, a drop pass? At that time, it was an interception. So they, that's what this defense does, and they do it well. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. The Seahawks with a nickel look here on defense. Wagner making the stop. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. That's second down coming up. The defensive line, they're all shifting to the right. I think they're expecting a run over there. Hand off out of the eye. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. When you're backed up, there's just so few plays that you feel comfortable running. That time, nice job by the play caller. Gave the offense a chance, and they picked up a big first down. Looks like they're in press coverage here. They need to get the playoff. And Ingram's got it. Screen. Sherman's in on the tackle. Two minutes to go in the second half. They come to the line, and it's first down. Breeze on the move. 
Cliff Avril brings down the quarterback. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback, and the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. Coming up, second down. Ready? You ready? Breeze in shotgun formation. Too much pressure, and he's brought down again. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. Third down after the sack. Breeze has everybody split out wide for this snap. From the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. And so now they'll bring out Morstead to punt. He's got a chance for a return. And he spins away. That's a gain of seven. The Seahawks offense comes out for what is, in essence, just a kneel down or two to make this one official. And, Phil, what a sweet moment it is for that bunch of players right there. Oh, yeah, a lot of smiles on the offensive side as you walk out on the field. And it's just, you think about it this way. A tough week of work, all the preparation and the practice, and you came through and got it done and enjoy the moment. The Seahawks now come to the line. Fourth quarter of a game they have controlled. The score's 37 to 0. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. Well, you know you can win the game, but just running the football, then you just run the football. Take no chances. Keep two hands around it at all times, and don't worry about the extra yard. The Seahawks are just building off of last week's close victory. This time, they have been dominant from the start. Yeah, you got to enjoy it when it goes well in the NFL. And then winning that tight game last week, and they just continued here. That's what happens. You'd like to get on a roll, and it looks like this could be their chance to get on that roll. How about this game, Phil? What a big win it was. It was something to be happy about. Go out and dominate. Awesome stuff. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.